how to add your own branding to your surveys in Entresoft. Watch this video till the end to find out. Hi everyone, it's Yavash here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add your own branding or if you're running an agency, how to add your client's branding to any surveys that you build for them in Entresoft. Alright, so let's dive in. So the first thing that you want to do, you want to go to your sites, to your survey and survey builder. If you don't have any survey, just go ahead and create a new survey. Once you create your survey, you will notice that if you click on and open it, you will see that you have this uh, Entresoft logo in here. It doesn't show up when you actually launch the survey or attach the server. So I'm just, um, in a second, I'm going to show you how you can do that. So for example, when you click on the integrate survey down at the bottom right, and if you click on link and then basically then click on this arrow, it will launch only the survey. And if you give it a sec, you see when it comes up, you don't see any uh, logo for Entresoft. So that's good if you wanted to have it blank. But we've noticed that most of a lot of our students, specifically the ones that are running agency, they would like to personalize that. That is doable. And the way that you do it is, let's go back to the slide one. And as you can see on the right hand side, if any of if your item is selected, make sure that you've deselected by clicking outside. And I want you to be in this area which you have your text and stuff. Go ahead and click on options on top right. If you scroll all the way down, there's a section that we added called footer, footer HTML. So this needs a little bit of coding obviously because it's a little bit next level. And this is where we can actually play with the uh, footer down at the bottom. So let's go ahead and just click on edit footer. So as you can see, this is uh, a plain HTML. So everything that you want to do in here, you have to do it inside the HTML. I'm just going to go and drop the uh, code that I created for this purposes. And then uh, I'll go step by step inside uh, the code and tell you how you can modify each section and what, are, what, uh, what any of those actual HTML tag means. So I'm just going to drop the code that I have in here. There we go. And I'm just going to hit save. Don't worry about it. Nothing's going to change in here. We don't see it because it only gets rendered when you run the actual uh, URL. So I'm just going to go ahead and save the survey. And because the link is still going to be uh, to be the same, so I'm just going to go back to what I had be opened before. I'm just going to go and refresh the page. And as you can see, a bunch of stuff came up in here. I added a uh, Facebook logo so that that means that's going to be a placeholder for your own company logo or uh, any client that you're running you can have your domain copyright and those kind of things in here and as you can see I just want to show you that you can have it either left or center you can also do it right hand side different colors and everything now this is pretty much what most of the people want to do uh, just have a logo and a little bit of detail so it's kind of like branded now let's go back and have a look at the code and see what is happening there so you can uh, modify it to whatever you like so I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the code let's make this a little bit bigger so it's uh, let me just make some space so we can go ahead and have a look at this a little bit better so as you can see, so I uh, just pretty much defined a footer and I gave it a class. Uh, this is not necessarily, this is mainly for CSS, but that means, okay, we are going to play with the footer inside the HTML. I've created, I've created two uh, div, which is basically divs all the sections inside the uh, our HTML. So inside the footer, this is this section. The first one is the div one, and this one is a div two. As you can see, this is my first div called footer1 and then I have another div down in here called uh, footer2. So we're opening a div ID of footer1 and I just want to show you if you want to change the background color of your div, this is how you do it. So you have to put the inline style inside that and let's say I want to change the background, background color to something like maybe uh, green. And if I set, hit save and then save the survey down at the bottom let it save, let's go back and let's refresh this page. There you go, so the div1 is going to become green. Now let's go back and have a look at the other things. So let's put that, this back to white. Now the interesting part that most of you might want to do is how to add your own image or your client's logo down at the bottom. 
So as you can see, the image starts with the image tag and you need to put a source. Now, this is the most important part. It's like, okay, how do you put the source in there? The easiest way, and it's pretty much the only way that you can do it is inside your Entresoft, if you go down at the bottom to your settings, and we have a section called media. So if you click on media, this is basically, and then click on open media library. This is basically where you have all of your images kind of uh, sit there. So for example, if I go ahead and say, okay, I want to use this uh, agency logo, I click on it and then I click on this to this chain icon on the top right to copy the link to the clipboard. And when it's copied, I go back I go back again to my service, I go to sites, I go to survey builder, I open up my survey again, and sometimes when this is selected, just I simply click outside and that goes away. You go to options, scroll all the way down, click on edit footer. Now, all you need to do, you need to change this address from here to here, and put it inside the quotation, and paste it there. Now if I hit save, and save the survey and if I go and run this again the Facebook logo should change to my GMI marketing logo there you go now you have branded and logo there so that's how you put the image uh, and basically change the image to what you like now let's talk about alignment so as you can see I put alignment left by default it's in center so if I remove this and just hit save and also save this one and if I go back and refresh, as you can see now, the alignment comes in the middle. The padding is a little bit, uh, uh, a little bit extended because it's inside the middle. But as you can see, this is how you can do it. You can also align it to the right if you want to, so it goes all the way to the right, which is going to be here. So I would suggest when you're kind of like designing this to have kind of a background color because this shows you the edges of the div that you're working with so you know that okay if I want to put this in the center, in the left or in the right and once you're done you can go ahead and remove the background color so everything is nice and clean. Alright that's about the image alignment. Now there's another thing that you might have noticed is the size of the image. So if I remove this width and height, it's going to show the image full size, which most of the time when you import the image, it's going to be big. So if I just delete these two, and let's actually copy them and then delete because I'm going to bring them back. And let's hit save. And then save it from the bottom there. All right, now if I go and refresh this again, as you can see, it's big, huge, right in front of your face. So that's why uh, we put the width and height to make it uh, pretty much at the size that we want. So it's not actually right in there. So I put it back. Now let's go to the next section. So this is the... So after we finish with our paragraph, that the, that first paragraph only has the image. Now we have another paragraph that is actually handling the first text that we have. In here so as you can see copyright 2003 domain name all right reserve so uh, this is this uh, and as you can see again I have the alignment because I was aligning it with the image source that I had now that my image is in the middle I can simply remove this alignment so the text is going to be in the middle as well now, as you can see I put some breakpoints in here let's go ahead and delete this for now and let's just hit save and save the survey and see how it looks like and uh, let's just refresh the page. All right, so this is what we have right now uh, with no breaks. And also the reason that you might get some padding in here is because the image that I have in here, it's not actually from edge to edge. So the actual image has a little bit of padding, white padding around it. So that's why it pushes this one a little bit further down. So that's that. Sometimes you might have an image that is actually edge to edge and the text is com uh, text comes literally right below the image and you might want to have some spaces. The way that you add the spaces is basically adding breaks. So let's say I want to push down this guy a little bit further down. So what I do is like, okay, just give me one break. So it pushes that. Basically, it's the break is the... Uh, one new line space kind of thing. So if I hit save and save this, 
Uh, let's go back and for your reference just remember this and let's refresh and there you go it pushes it down so it can you can keep pushing this whole thing down you can also start from top of the image as well so you can push the image down so the whole section starts coming down if you want to have your for example your actual uh, marketing uh, sorry your branding down at the bottom further down so you can put the break before the image so the whole thing comes down and let's go back and let's have a look that's pretty much it so that's uh, this line and then I have uh, I close the div and I create the other div which is simply just this text now as you can see it's like why the heck the text are red so the way that I did it is like I put a style down here and says okay every paragraph in the uh, footer section I want the color of them to be red I can change this and it will change both of those paragraphs. If you want to do them one by one, what you need to do, you basically uh, delete this guy and let's say I want the first one by default they are uh, black so let's say I would want to say I want the first one to be the color would be so let's say style equal to then we have color maybe let's uh, give this one red uh, red like this so it's pretty much what I'm doing so I'm looking at this and put it in here so let's the first one red and let's make the second one to be like let's have a style equals to maybe this one make it uh, sorry color oops if I can type color blue and then semicolon and then that and let's hit save Save the form and let's go back. Let's refresh this, and there you go. That stays red, and this one becomes blue. So you can basically play with the colors. So if you want to have them like uh, different colors, that's how you do it. But if you wanted to have it as a global color, you just put it in here. Uh, so every paragraph that you have inside your uh, footer is going to have this color. Um, that's pretty much it everyone so I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you have any question or anything please do make sure that you put it down into the comment section otherwise that's it and uh, please do make sure that you like this video share this video and also subscribe to my youtube channel and tap on that bell icon so every time I post a new video you'll get notified also don't forget to check our membership section just click on join and see the perks that we can give you if you join our membership we have one-on-one -on -one coaching and lots of other different packages that will suit you so make sure that you check that as well once again thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one